today I'm reviewing the Rotomentholatum Melano CC Vitamin C Essence. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsor ads or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsb.com, join my Patreon community, or click on the link below. Okay, finally get a chance to review this one. I'm not sure why it took me so many years to get to do this one. But anyway, I'm doing it. Okay, so... They say, banish hyperpigmentation, tone up skin with this lightweight essence chock full of vitamin C and vitamin E derivatives. Quick absorbent formula penetrates deep beneath the dermal layer to restore radiance to skin while leaving no greasy residue. I like this one. I'm wearing it today under my moisturizer and sunscreen. So uh, there we go. It's a unique vitamin C. Just literally like the packaging of it is super unique. So um, anyway, let me get my pH strips out so I have them handy. Okay. So packaging, first criteria. So really do like the packaging, really travel friendly, user friendly, helps store it properly, keep it fresh. This stuff stays fresh very long, a lot longer than pretty much any other vitamin C serum I've tried. Um, still comes out clear today. So nice job with the packaging. In terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, it does not contain any of those. It does contain fragrance, it's the last ingredient. It isn't super strong, it dissipates very quickly. I can't quite describe the scent with this one. It almost is like a minty scent slightly. And then it fades away and I can't really tell. So it's not super strong. Most people won't have any issues with it, but if you prefer to avoid fragrance, something to consider. Uh, the manufacturing location for this one is Japan, so no issues with that. So let me do the quick pH test since this does use pure L-ascorbic acid. Okay, doki. See, look at that, that, it's like a needle nose dropper. It's very uh, small. Hang on there, okay. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I was just trying to do it over the paper so it didn't spill. Okay, so the pH of this one, probably right around four, which is not ideal for vitamin C. So there we go, and I need the garbage can. Cameraman, take this trash for me. I'm a big deal now. Okay, so I'll apply a little bit to my hand. It just comes out really liquid, smooths over skin easily. Uh, no issues with that. So I recommend after, in your morning routine, after toning and cleansing, applying a layer of this, and then follow with your moisturizer and sunscreen. Very easy. Uh, it does take a minute to absorb, and then once it does, it sets to kind of a natural, slightly radiant finish that is just very slightly tacky, not super sticky like some um so works well with uh most products i've layered it with no issues with moisturizers or things like that some moisturizers foam a little bit over vitamin c because the ph difference but i don't have this problem with this one probably because the ph is a little bit higher than other vitamin c serums i've used okay so let's talk about the ingredients in here first of all, i want to mention that i have not seen anywhere where they mention the percentage of l zorbic acid in this product i've not found it anywhere um, and in fact, it seems like they don't want to reveal it, which is irritating and annoying and obnoxious. <laughs> so I want to know what percentage I'm using because like if it's like 5%, it's wonderful, but I want something 10%, maybe 20%. I at least want to know. So anyway, so they use l zorbic acid, which is uh, the gold standard. It's great. It's, uh, it's research studied, great for brightening skin, anti-acne. Um, higher percentages can also help with collagen production as well as protecting the skin. Uh, helps your sunscreen work better, prevents off, prevents free radical damage and things like that. Um, although it would be nice to know the percentage because that does play into it. If you're using 5%, you're not going to get as much with the collagen production and things like that. Especially the pH being a little bit too high. You can't absorb and work well, as well in your skin the higher the pH is. It just doesn't work as well. Um, so, Okay. Now we got vitamin E, antioxidant, hydrating ingredient. Helps the l zorbic acid work better in fighting free radical damage. Um, then we get licorice root, skin brightening, antioxidant ingredient. Then we get uh, a derivative of vitamin C, tetrahexyldexyl ascorbate, which is an oil-soluble derivative of vitamin C. Uh, it's surmised to have antioxidant and brightening properties, although more research, in my opinion, needs to be done before I would solely rely on that as my sole form of vitamin C. Now, I have an interesting ingredient that I have not come across before, Alpina White Catfish Extract. It's used in traditional Chinese medicine, has great antioxidant benefits, uh, also is comprised of e ECGC, epiglutin galactate, 
thing that I can't pronounce. And resveratrol can also help with anti-inflammatory properties as well as brightening the skin up. It's not actually catfish, it's like a plant. I wouldn't want to smear catfish on my face, I don't think. Although, I'm sure there are probably some products that have it in there. So, anyway, it's a good ingredient list. Um, be a little more exciting if we knew what the percentage was, but I won't continue to ramble on about that. Okay, so in terms of animal testing, rhodomethylene and not cruelty-free. So, that instantly reduces the amount of customers are selling it to, which uh, is their prerogative. So... Okay, performance. I think this helped brighten my skin up a bit. It's a nice vitamin C serum. I don't dread using it even. Uh, doesn't The scent's not terrible. It doesn't really have that sticky feeling. Um, doesn't have that hot dog water smell to it. It layers well with products. Works well under my moisturizer. Um, helps a bit with red, dark spots as well. And another great thing is for acne prone skin, there's no ingredients of note. So that's always a nice factor. We get to the price. Um, so 20 milliliters, 0.7 ounces of full size retails for around $16. It's an okay price. It's not a steal, I would say compared. There's some great 10, 20% vitamin C products that are like one ounce for like 20 bucks. So it's not a steal. It's an okay price. So, um, and if you're just using this to dark spots on your skin, uh, then you're going to go through this much more slowly. And you know what? The fact that it's liquid and packaged well, you don't have to hurry up and use it like you will others with a dropper bottle. So price is okay. Uh, in terms of the it factor, it's a decent vitamin C serum. I use it um, if I, in the summer, with the summer heat, the sun, I go with a stronger vitamin C serum, or at least one I know what the percentage is. Um, it's a good one, and a lot of people have really good luck with it. Great for acne-prone skin. Uh, wish it was fragrance-free. Um, so, overall, I like it. I use it. It didn't get a great score. It got a 6. So, not a great score, but still a decent one. A lot of people have great luck with it, especially acne-prone skin or skin that is sensitive to vitamin C but not fragrance. So, Anyway, those are my thoughts on this one. Interested if you guys have had a chance to check it out yet. And if you have what your thoughts are, so definitely leave a comment. Love hearing from you guys. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, guys.